All right, welcome back to Pokemon, um, I almost said Pokemon World Tournament, to Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. Um, we are gonna take on the Pokemon World Tournament, and then um, hopefully, probably take on the, or work through the Relic Passage. Um, just, oh, I didn't realize I'm fighting Squirt first. Do I keep calling him Hugh? I think I keep calling him Hugh. Um, but now I recall that this is definitely ending in a battle against um, Colrus, which, if I remembered, I would have brought in my Guacapoli. But we'll just have to hope for the best. Time to go all out, he says. Um, I think I can manage... Um, it's just gonna be a little tricky dealing with a bunch of steel types. When I mostly don't. Oh yeah, and everything's scaled down to level 25. I was gonna be like, oh my gosh, yes! Oh, they're not? Oh. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, a critical hit. All the love and affection my Stoutland can... my Jared can muster. Just being thrown at your face. Wow, that's a fast monkey. Oh, and a sturdy monkey. All right, you're gonna get a seat. Also, I'm definitely gonna count Nuzlocke rules. Um, if Jared faints, even though he's gonna get healed between battles, um, I'm still gonna count it as a death. Um, so don't, uh, don't die. I know Nuzlocke rules, oh my gosh. Servite is not a weak Pokemon. Why was it the only... It was a crit. Never mind. If it hadn't been a crit, Servine would have survived. Because Servine is actually quite sturdy. Which, I say actually, most grass types are fairly sturdy. They tend to be more tanks than sweepers. Um, so next I'll fight Charon. And who cares about Moko and Sodapon? Colrus was never challenged or whatever. Yareli. I have a girl on my backyard Bible clubs named Yareli. Um, although I'm pretty sure her name's not spelled that way. Hold on. I already fought you, Charon. Do I need to beat you up again? With my Stoutland? Which I'm pretty sure was my ace Pokemon against you when we fought previously. I'm just mashing the A button over here. Just waiting for this text to go by so I can fight. Um, so, but there's a part of me that like in, in these, oh, in these tournament settings, when I have, you know, when you have the bracket, if it's not symmetrical, it kind of bothers me. So like on the left a second ago, it was the, the bottom two um, pairings from each bracket, that one. Um, it bugs me a little bit. I would much rather, like, the left and the right side be symmetrical, even though it's just a stupid little visual thing. Oh. Great minds think alike, gay Stoutland. So, I'm just gonna go in for the kill. Um, oh my gosh, Jared. Hmm, Sensino. Also, I found a shiny stone, so I can totally evolve my Mincino. So if, you know, heaven forbid something happens to Jared, um, I have a backup plan. Oh my gosh, that would have been so annoying. I would have just switched immediately. Also, I'm not getting any experience for this. Oh, here comes a fake out, or a, no, a... Uh, Hypnosis and Confusion, or Confuse Ray. Who called it? Who called it? I'm not gonna deal with this. I'm gonna switch to Hana. Maybe it'll bite me and then it'll poison itself and then it'll die. Nope, it's gonna Confuse Ray. That's fun. I bet it uses Hypnosis next too. So I'm just gonna bug bite and hope Hana. Also, Hana is. I probably mentioned this before around the time that it evolved, but Hana is surprisingly fast. 
Like, holy smokes, do not did not expect a giant centipede monster to be so crazy fast. But it is. It defies my expectations. Yay, Pokemon! Let's check out the match on the other screen. Oh wow, what a surprise. Colrus. Man, I really should have. Really should have brought uh, Guacapoli. He would have been so clutch in this fight here. Because I know Colrus is going to use like a Clang and a Magneton. And it's just going to be frustrating. Because I have a Water type who is weak to both of them because Clang uses a lot of electric type moves, despite not being an actual electric type. Which I guess would make. That would make um, Nutella a little bit better suited for this. Oh, but also I can't use items, so I can't potion up. Alright, I'm just gonna have to hit really, really hard. We're gonna work up once, and then we're gonna hit. Maybe I'll crit and knock out this Magneton in one shot. Okay, this is just going to be obnoxious, and I'm going to hate it. Oh good, Mirror Shot goes off its better stat. That's good news for me. Aw, no crit. Oh, that would have been stupid. I would have squished Pokemon immediately. Although, I don't know if... Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Oh no, I can't heal myself. Which, I don't know if that blocks items, or if it just blocks, like, soft oil. Was that another crit? Jared. Oh, just a clank, not a clang. Well, I guess I was a little bit too worried about... Jared, come on! Jared is just so clutch. Jared, you are just... Oh, gear grind. Mmm, gear grind. Mmm, mmm, feels good. Busted makes me feel good. I can't wait to get to the Charge Stone Cave and catch a Pokemon there. Um, there's so many good Pokemon in there. I don't... I actually don't know what all is available in there in black and white too, but I know you can get like a Pharisee and you can get Tynamo, which is going to be like impossible, like the most lucky in the universe to get Tynamo. Um, but you can also get um, Clink, which is actually a pretty good Pokemon. And there's probably like Pikachu or something in there now, or like Ele Elekid or something. Yay, I win! Wow. Eight and a half minutes and I already beat the whole thing. Hope to see you again. Outstanding. Everybody knows their stuff. Roxy! Roxy's my favorite. <laughs> you don't have to put on the red light. Alright. Drift fail. Heap some money. Round everybody up. Let's go! I don't quite know if you mentioned what my next quest is. Oh, oh, there's a cutscene. Never mind. I barely recognized you and Brandon. You turn way different. Oh, sniggity snap. What was that just now? Going after him. Stop. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. I hit the wrong button and was trying to break up the menu. I'm going too. I've got his back. Oh, good. This reminds me of Pokemon X and Y, when you go to challenge Team Flare and have all your friends with you, and then they all just ditch you, leaving you to fight five guys single-handedly, so three people can chase one guy. I hate the multi-partner thing in Black and Y, or X and Y. It's so infuriating. All right, I guess I'm coming this way to deal with these people. Hey, look, an item. Ah, uh, there's no point in hopping on the bicycle. 
Oh, stingity snap. Can I switch Pokemon? Nope. Well, I guess I'm just gonna... This ship, why is it so cold? And where did the music go? Why should you care? By the time we're done with you, it won't matter anyway. Oh good, there are seven of them. Six of them. Oh good, and there are seven of them. There are twelve of them. Hey, just let you know, I'm about to unleash my rage! I would just much rather have these all be like double battles. Instead of a bunch of 1v1s with... See, especially when it's 1v1 with a single Pokemon on the opposing side. Like, why are you wasting my time? I thought that said level 39 for a second, and I was about to rage. Gyro Ball, what are you doing that for? Also, I feel like this would just be much more effective if I send out a big ground type and use like earthquake or something or to, like use guacamole to like dig a hole in the ship yay next hurry up already oh good i'm glad i'm taking on two well charon and squirt are both single-handedly taking on five they're introducing horde battles for the next generation Oh, this is going this is going on a little bit longer than I had hoped. Magnitude 7! Ah, oh, I remind you of a trainer from two years ago. It's a piece of cake. Oh, okay. It's two against one. No, it's definitely five against one. I don't know what you're talking about. I hope they all... What's really nice in these battles is when you can send out a Pokemon with an AoE move, like Surf or Earthquake, and then everything is weak to it. Because then you just blast him away with um, no restraint. Oh, good thing your Stoutland wasn't it? <laughs> Charon, how did you get your your Stoutland up eight levels between then and now. Oh my gosh, how do you have Thunder Fang? That is really cool. That's probably a, a move relearner move, which I think the move relearner is in the next town. Whatever it's called. Flying Central. Oh look, it's a Lipard. I bet it's going to fake out one of us. I'm just going to... Oh, it's not? That's impressive. Oh my gosh. I say that like I don't know how good Stoutland is. But I know Stoutland is very good. Also, I had just a stream of consciousness talking right now. I had totally forgotten that this whole Team Plasma... Yeah, this Team Plasma thing happened. I was just thinking it was going to go to the next thing, which was... Um, I was going to go into the Relic Passage. Um, I've already technically been there. Um, you can it connects to the the sewers in Castalia City. It's actually where I caught um, Christmas, the Onyx, who regretfully died to a stupid little insect. Which oh, oh my gosh, what's what what's it called? What's it called? Joltik. Joltik is also found in Chargestone Cave, and that's what I want because I love bug types. I caught a Yanma in Platinum today, um, playing Platinum for a Nuzlocke, and it's, I've never used a Yanma or a Yanmega. And I, it, I ran into it in the uh, in the Great Marsh and was just like hoping, you know, fingers crossed, almost praying, like almost literally praying to Jesus that I would get um, Yanma, just because I love bug types. But it was unnecessary. I caught it, and now I'm excited to add it to my team. But I love Joltik. Um, its compound eyes ability makes um, boost the accuracy of moves by 30%. So um, 
Thunder, which is normally 70% accuracy, bumps up to 91% accuracy. And is same type attack, so it's just super overpowered. Um, but really, all the Pokemon that are in uh, in Charge Stone Cave are really good, and I would be glad to catch. But yeah, I, I have been I, circling back around to the original thought that started all this. I have technically been to um, Relic Passage. It's where I caught Onyx. But it also connects to Relic Castle. And there's a Pokemon at the bottom of Relic Castle that I can catch. Because it's an event. And some of you may know what that is. Um, it's a really good Pokemon that you would not catch in um, Black and White 1 until after you got the. after you finished the Elite 4. I think. It's really strong. But it's a weird legendary that evolves like level 70. And you get it at level 30, and it's really cool. So I really want to get it. Now, Gyro Ball's too weak. Unless you're like. I don't know. A shuckle using it on a Alakazam or something. This is no good. What should we do? Good idea. What is going on? Oh, it's the like the one of the sages that did not. Um. Hey, how? How? What are the odds? This is like in season fourteen of Supernatural when they. When Dean gets a random phone call from the psychic lady from season one and remembers exactly who she is just by hearing her voice for the first time in 13 years. It's absurd. Also, the Shadow Triad. Why are they not around more? How do you... Had... I don't... The odds of you remembering Zenzelin. Because, like, nobody cares to learn the seven... Um, the names of the seven dudes the seven sages that's just a waste of time um but anyway i think that's it for this episode um next time uh we're gonna skip on the relic passage for now um if we have some time we'll do it um later but uh or maybe we'll do it real quick at the beginning of the ne beginning of the next episode but i want to press forward um towards charge stone cave so maybe i'll come back and do that um in a few episodes um, but in the meantime have a great rest of your week and a start to your weekend, and I will see you guys next time. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you liked what you saw, share it with your friends. Um, and if you can, check out my Patreon in the description down below to support what I'm doing on this channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.